there is ever a zombie apocalypse, I'd want this. Okay people, let's take a look at some of the specs of this bad boy. First up, it has a length of 50.8 centimeters. It weighs just 2.16 pounds. The pack down length is only 38 centimeters. And for those wondering, it's made of 420 high carbon steel. The heat treatment is HRC 50 to 52. And the handle is aerospace grade aluminum. Awesome. Now we've looked at the technical specifications. Let's check out some of the features. First up is the carry case, which is fitted with D-rings to attach a shoulder strap or you can use the velcro straps to attach it to your belt. Be careful though, you don't want it pulling your trousers down. Or do you? The shovel head is dead easy to adjust. Simply pull on the spring release catch and bobs your uncle. Set the shovel head to the required angle. You can set it at 90 degrees to use it as a hoe or continue rotating it to use it as a shovel. The head also has a protective case which is secured by two velcro straps. Now here's the cool part people. Remember that handle you just removed? Well it's got a couple of awesome features that just might help you in a survival situation. First up, there is a loop of seven strand paracord on the back of the handle. This can either be used as a hand loop or you could use the cordage in a survival situation. And now for the fun part. Remove the plastic blade protector at the other end of the handle to reveal yourself a wicked blade, a mini saw, and the best part, a bottle opener. So which of these is the most important, I hear you ask? Well, the bottle opener, of course, because when that zombie apocalypse comes, you're going to want to pop open that cold bottle of beer and wait for it all to blow over. But Mike, what about the blade? Is it sharp? Well, let's do the hair test. Don't try this at home, kiddies. Damn. That's one hairy hobbit. Yep, it's sharp all right. Now I could use that hair as tinder to start a fire, but I'm not gonna do that. Here's another cool feature. Unscrew the cap on the back of the handle and you have yourself a fire steel. But wait, unscrew the fire steel and you got yourself a whistle. Is there anything this shovel doesn't have? So everything has its place and it all fits together nicely. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. On the shovel blade itself, there are also measuring increments and I believe these are in centimeters. If you're serious about shovels, Five Joy also have extendable handle sections to give the shovel a length of up to 86 centimeters, which is around about 34 inches. Boom. The aluminum handle has foam sections on it for a comfortable ergonomic grip. Great for those long days when you need to dig yourself a bomb shelter. Well that's all very well knowing the specs and talking the talk, but let's put it to the test. Okay, first up is the knife blade. Here I am making some feather sticks. The blade copes well and it produces the thin curls of wood that I need to get a fire going. So what about the fire steel? You can use the blade edge on the knife to strike sparks from it, but in the long run, this is gonna damage your blade. Near the base of the blade is an area that has a nice 90 degree spine. This is perfect for striking sparks from the fire steel and it protects your knife blade. Place said fire steel against the curls and strike down. Voila, man have fire. You can also use the blade edge on a piece of silver birch bark, which has natural oils that are flammable. Create a dust pile and strike those fiery sparks into your tinder. Man, make fire. Come on, Mike. We want to see the saw blade. Although small, it cuts with relative ease on small sticks. However, on larger logs, the blade did get stuck on occasions, but it performed the task that I needed. It whittles sticks well and creates wooden stakes in a matter of seconds. Now you can sleep well knowing that the vampires can't get you. Use that high carbon shovel head 
to bash stakes into the ground with ease. Upon further inspection, you will find that one side of the shovel head is sharp. This is because it can be used as an axe. That's right, this shovel is also an axe. Or as I like to call it, a shax. Upon testing, I felt it cut medium sized logs well. Enough for me to have a long term fire and cook some food on. Be wary of the blade edge kicking out to the side when chopping wood with it though. Alright Mike, alright. So we understand that this shovel has just about everything. But here's the big question we've all been waiting for. Can it dig a hole? Yes! Fear not my fellow YouTube friends. I can safely say that this shovel digs like there is no tomorrow. In fact, I reckon if I carried on digging for another half an hour, I estimate that I would be halfway to Australia. G'day mate. <sighs> well let me tell you this guys, if there's any zombies out there, I've got it covered. On a serious note, this is a very very good shovel and I'd like to thank Five Joy for sponsoring the video and supplying me with this pretty cool tool. I'm impressed with the build quality. If you guys are interested in finding out a little bit more about this shovel, I'll pop a few links in the video description for you. If like me, you enjoy building bushcraft camps and forts out in the woods and you need tools, you need good quality tools, this is certainly something to consider. You may have noticed I'm here at my bushcraft camp done a whole series on building this uh, camp and cooking loads of things, different fish and everything here. Uh, so please check that out in my bushcraft playlist if you want to know how to just enjoy yourselves out in the woods. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you soon in another video on TA Outdoors. Let's go kill some zombies.